which Amazon Web Service can be used to mitigate DDoS attacks. So to understand uh, the, the question is to know what a DDoS attack is. So let's briefly talk about DDoS attacks. So distributed denial of service attack. So it's an uh, attack on your servers where you have a bunch of malicious traffic, so much traffic that your servers become overwhelmed and your uh, web servers uh, cease to function because they just can't handle the amount of traffic. Hence, um, the, they're called floods, right? You're getting a flood of certain types of, of traffic, okay? So this could be UDP, SYN, or even TCP, okay? Um, so now that we know what a DDoS attack is, what services are gonna help us prevent it? So it's not gonna be EC2 because EC2 is what we're trying to protect, right? So um, our servers uh, can't handle the traffic, so you know more EC2s is not going to uh, really solve that issue. Um, and S3 is not the answer because that's just for object storage. Um, it's not going to protect our servers. And this question really is geared towards uh, how do we mitigate DDoS attacks for um, web servers, dynamic content, right? So the answers are AWS Shield and CloudFront. Let's get into why those are the answer. So AWS Shield is a service which is specifically designed to uh, mitigate DDoS attacks. So it's definitely your first choice when you're trying to um, mitigate DDoS attacks. Uh, and if you actually were to click into this page here, they, they tell you um, all the, the things that they help you with um, to the certain levels. And, and AWS Shield is actually free. Um, and they have a paid version, AWS Shield Advance, which uh, gives you uh, more layers of DDoS protection. Um, so yeah, AWS Shield is always what you're going to be thinking about for mit uh, mitigating DDoS attacks. There's also CloudFront. So um, so like here I have my own uh CloudFront distribution I'm running. So CloudFront is a service that makes copies of your uh, uh, static content, right? But you can also force all your traffic to go through CloudFront. And so CloudFront, what it can do is it can reject any um, request coming through it that's not a TCP request. So if you're being flooded with UDP or, or SYN, uh, S-Y-N uh, floods, um, they just they will not work because CloudFront will just discard them. CloudFront also has other really cool features, like you could restrict uh, certain geolocations. Now, when you're being DDoS, they can spoof where the traffic's coming from, but if they're not too clever and all the traffic, like let's say you operate in Canada and you don't need to worry about the rest of the world, you could block out the rest of the world. Uh, and so there's gonna be um, less opportunity for people to uh, attack from, the, uh, from you. You can also set alerts in CloudFront, which is really cool. So you can do, you can set an alert. So let's say um, someone was trying to flood you with a lot of TCP requests and you wanted to quickly detect that. You could set up that, um, that alarm and it would say, hey, you're getting an unusual amount of traffic um, here. Maybe you need to take some kind of action here. But um, yeah, so the two answers here are AWS Shield and uh, CloudFront, okay?